Hi, I'm Avery Gray with WS Miss News. Last year, students had the option to stay home and virtually learn. Those who came in person were required to wear masks and social distance. This year, online learning was taken away and students are encouraged to wear masks. Cases in our school are rising, but according to Mr. Parker, we are nowhere near the situation where we would have to shut down. The general rule of thumb is that we have to have 10% of our students absent on a day. So if we're looking at um, 10% of almost 800, we're looking at 80 students. So we're a long ways away uh, from that happening. Health officials say the best way to protect yourself from COVID is to get the vaccine if you are 12 years or older. Last year, Lovejoy ISD provided an opportunity to get all staff and faculty fully vaccinated. I think it's it's expected that we're going to see more uh, cases of COVID in the school settings because um, you know we're in close proxim proximity to each other and um, you know it's, masks are optional so um, the risk is going to be higher. I think that we're in a, in a good place right now. Um, I think that. Um, our numbers, like I said, are either staying the same or going down, so we're in a good spot. Okay. Collin County has nearly 70% of all citizens ages 12 plus with at least one dose of the vaccine. Over 60% of the population is fully vaccinated, and these are just numbers from July. Health officials believe that those numbers are way up. If they are choosing to, to wear masks, um, can't stress that <laughs> enough. We do what the data tells us to do. So right now, because our numbers are, are pretty consistent, uh, we're not taking any extra precautions. If we see the need to do that, we'll certainly do it. But right now, I think we're doing just enough. I'm Avery Gray reporting from WSMS News.